Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about two of the best camera bags on the market. And I don't know about you, but when I'm making a luxury purchase like this, I really do a ton of research. I wanna know the pros and the cons about the bag. I wanna know about durability, wear and tear, and all those things so that I can make a good, educated purchase. Because these are very expensive handbags, guys. They're very expensive, and you wanna know what you're getting yourself into when you make a purchase. So today I'm gonna to be talking about two handbags that I think people might be trying to decide between. So I thought I'd come on here, do a quick comparison for you guys, um, so you have a little bit more information. So we are talking about the Gucci Soho Disco Bag and the YSL Mini Lou Camera Bag. So these are both beautiful bags, guys. They're both great camera bags and I am very happy with both of them. I've had the Gucci Soho Disco, for a few years now, and I've had the YSL now for a couple months, and I've really been enjoying both. So if you're interested in learning more about these two bags, keep watching. But if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Anne. I make weekly fashion and lifestyle videos, and I'd love for you to subscribe down below. So that being said, let's get into it. Okay guys, let's start off with my Gucci Soho Disco bag. Now this bag has been popular for many years now, and I've had mine for a few years and I've really, really enjoyed using it. And this retails in the United States for $1,190. Now that's a little bit more than what it cost when it first launched, but I still think it's a very good price for a luxury handbag. Now this comes in black and it comes in rose beige, which is this color. It used to come in red, but I think that that was discontinued from the permanent line. But it's just in this beautiful soft pebble leather and it has the GGs here. There's nothing on the back, and it has this beautiful tassel here with gold hardware, and you have an adjustable strap here, which I absolutely love, guys. I think that all crossbody bags need to come with an adjustable strap. I'm five feet tall, guys, and I know that me wearing a handbag is very different than someone wearing a handbag who is 5'9", so I just think adjustable straps are the way to go. <laughs> so this is a pretty classic camera style doesn't have too many bells and whistles. Just when you open it here, you have an off-white canvas lining. You have a slip pocket here in the back and then with a leather tab that says Gucci made in Italy. You have another slip pocket here in the front and that's about it. It's just an open space here. And as you can see, it's very flexible, guys. You can really open this bag fairly wide and it just relaxes with time. So it's gonna get even more malleable as you wear it. And this is a pro and a con, guys, because I know some people really like bags to hold their structure. And I'm that type of person too. I really do like bags to maintain their structure and their integrity, but it's also nice that this does stretch a little bit because you are able to fit more things in it as time goes on. I will say I would recommend stuffing this bag when you're not using it. I would recommend stuffing it with air paper or something like that, just so that it can hold its shape a little bit better. But I have noticed watching some videos that this bag does seem to sag a little bit. After a while, it does really, really become smooshy. Um, and I know that a lot of people love that about this bag. But just to be aware, it might sag a little on the bottom. It might become a little bit misshapen. Um, that doesn't bother me too much, and it hasn't happened to my bag um, that much at all. My bag looks pretty, pretty great, but it's just something to keep in mind. I know that some people have also experienced a little wear and tear here on the corners, and I think that's to be expected with this bag. It doesn't have feet or anything, so if you're brushing up against things and you're setting it down a lot, I think that that's just gonna happen with time with normal wear and tear. But I've had a great experience with mine. I haven't had any color transfer with it, which I was actually kind of surprised about because this is a pretty light colored bag and I was nervous about it wearing it with denim, but I haven't had a problem with that. Another pro about this bag is it fits so much in it, guys. This is a small bag. It's still classified, I think, as a mini bag, but it fits so much. It's so deceiving, and that's what I love about it. I love using this bag as an everyday bag because you could fit all your essentials in it and more, in my opinion. And guys, I think that this is a great travel bag. I brought it with me traveling before, and I've really, really enjoyed it. The strap, since it's leather, is really comfortable on your shoulder. I love it because you can fit so much in it, so I really never feel like I can't take everything that I wanna take with it. 
I also like that if you don't want to be walking around with the logo, let's say you're out and about in a very touristy area and you want to be a little bit more discreet, you can always turn it around and you don't have any logo. So that's always a nice feature about this bag. It is quite a bit larger than the YSL Mini Lou camera bag. So I'll show you that here. So as you can see, the Gucci Soho Disco bag is a lot larger than the YSL Mini Lou camera bag. So if you're looking for a larger bag that you can really fit all your essentials in plus more, this might be a good option for you. But let me show you what I can fit in this bag. Okay guys, let's see what we can fit in this bag. So let's put in my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. And the pochette is pretty full guys. Here you go. We will put in my full size Louis Vuitton wallet and this is the Emily wallet. So as you can see, a full-size wallet fits in there no problem. We will put in my Louis Vuitton key clay. We'll put in my phone. Now this is a regular iPhone, it's on an iPhone Plus. We will put in, we'll put in my Louis Vuitton round coin purse. And we'll put in a lipstick. And there it is packed up. And it zips up, no problem. Does not distort the bag at all. It fits just perfectly. And if I show you here, unzipped wise, you can still fit quite a bit here on top. So if you wanted to take any additional makeup items or anything small, you could probably fit that on top. I think actually you could probably fit some sunglasses on top as well. Actually, let me grab a pair and let's see. Okay guys, we have a pair of my key sunglasses. So they're just in the soft case and let me slide those on top. Yep, and that fits no problem. So if you have sunglasses as well, you can fit those, especially if they're in a small, like soft case. So I don't know about you guys, but that's a lot of stuff in a small bag. For a mini bag, I think that really does pack a lot of stuff in. So if you really are somebody who likes to carry a bit more with you and you're looking for a camera bag, this one might be a great option for you. Okay guys, let's move on to my YSL or Saint Laurent Mini Lou camera bag. And this bag retails in the United States for $1,050, so a little bit less than the Gucci Soho Disco. So I've had this bag for a few months now, and this has quickly become a big favorite of mine. I just love this bag, guys. I just think that there's something about Saint Laurent's leather. I just really love their leather. I have a card holder in the same leather, and I knew that I would love this bag because of that. So it's got this beautiful tight-grained pebbled leather here, and it's a very nice finish to it. It feels very, very um, indestructible. It feels like you really could throw it around and scratches aren't gonna be a problem with it. I'm not saying throw it around, but I'm saying I do think you don't have to baby it, which is really, really nice. So this comes in a few different colors. It comes in a off-white color, it comes in a red color, it comes in a dark gray color, and I think it might come in a few others, maybe blue and pink. They all come with the gold hardware and it has a beautiful long strap here um, with a leather bit here at the top, which I like because it helps it not fall off your shoulder and just makes it a little bit more comfortable to wear. Now this bag is not adjustable in lengthwise for the strap, um, so that is kind of a con about it. I would love it if it was adjustable. It sits at a good length for me on my frame, but it's always nice to have that option to adjust. The chain is completely attached here on the side, so you cannot remove it. It also comes with a tassel, and I will say that this tassel and the way that it's woven around here, I do think that this feels higher quality than the Gucci Soho Disco. And I do feel that about the leather as well and the sturdiness of this bag. So it has that beautiful YSL logo here on the front and on the back, you have this nice chevron slip pocket. And I love this pocket in the back, guys, because you can fit your phone in it if you have a regular iPhone. If you have an iPhone Plus, I don't think it will fit, but I have a regular iPhone and it fits beautifully back here. And this is how I like to carry my phone when I'm using this bag, just because it's super easy access. This bag has beautiful chevron quilting, which a lot of the YSL bags have. It, I will say that the bag is pretty flat here on the bottom, but it does 
stick up a little bit here so that may annoy some people so i wanted to mention it but i will say that this bag does feel more structured than the gucci soho disco so i will say that i think that this will hold its shape in the long run a little bit better i still would stuff this bag when i'm not using it just so just to keep its shape a little bit better but i don't see it losing its shape anytime soon the bag just opens up like so. And I will say, I do think that the zipper is a little bit smoother on this bag. But when you open it up, it is an all leather bag. So inside it is lined in leather. It's not canvas or cloth. It has three card slots here in the back. And it has the Saint Laurent Paris stamped right here. And then it has another stamp in the front of the bag here with, with a, just a code here. And it says made in Italy. So it's a pretty simple, straightforward bag, but it is a very, very beautiful bag. And I will say that I do think that this bag is a little bit dressier than the Gucci Soho Disco. I think of the Gucci Soho Disco as more of a day bag. And I think that this bag can go from day to night a little bit better than the Gucci Soho. And that is because of its size. It's smaller, so it's just a little bit more petite, which can lend to being a little bit dressier. The gold hardware also dresses it up a little bit. So I could see myself wearing this out at night as well. And this is another bag that I think is great for travel. I have traveled with this bag as well and it was fantastic. I actually like that it's a little bit smaller because then it didn't allow me to carry as much with me as I would in the Gucci Soho Disco because sometimes I can overpack that and then if I'm out for a really long time, um, it can start to get a little bit heavy. But this bag has just been fantastic. I think it's great that you can also just turn it around if you don't want a logo. If you're walking around and you don't want to be so flashy, you can turn it around. And yeah, this bag has just been fantastic for me. I love that when I brought it with me when I was traveling that I didn't need to switch out of it at night when I was wearing it. I do think that there are obviously bags that would dress up a little bit better than this bag, but I do think that you can pull a nighttime look off with this bag. Okay guys, let's see what we can fit in this bag. So let's put in my mini bouchette and see what happens. So you can fit that in, no problem. It does take up a lot of room though. I just want to note that a full-size wallet will probably not fit in this. My Emily wallet does not fit in. I'll show you. So you can get most of it in, but you can't get it to close. And if you have an even larger wallet in that, or if you have items in your wallet, which I don't have any items in this wallet here, it definitely is not going to fit. So if I was using this bag, I would be using a smaller card holder. So let's see what else we can get in. So we have the mini pochette in there. And since I am not putting the full size wallet in, let's put a card holder. And this is more of the size of something that I would carry in this bag. So we'll put that in. Let's put in my key clay. Let's see if we can put in the round coin purse and the lipstick. Okay guys, I can zip it up, but it is pretty packed. And as you can see, it is a little bit distorted. It's a little bit puffed out here on the side. I probably wouldn't want to carry it like this because I wouldn't want it to lose its shape. So let me take something out of it and show you more how I would use it. So I would probably not include my round coin purse in here. Yeah, and that fits a lot better. And I'll slide my phone here in the back pocket. Okay guys, so that fits a lot better, but that is pretty much the max that I would wanna put in this bag. And if I was gonna put my phone inside, I would probably have to take something out. So let me show you that. Okay guys, so I took out my key clay and I put in my phone and that zips up as well. Um, but if I was using this bag, I wouldn't carry my mini pochette with me just because it takes up so much room in this bag. So I wouldn't bring this with me. So if I took that out, then I can put in the key clay and the round coin purse, no problem. And it zips up perfectly with my phone inside. See, and that's just such an easy fit. There's still room in it, it's smushy. Let me see if we can fit the sunglasses. Okay, the sunglasses zipped up, no problem in the soft case. So this is probably the max that I would care. I think you could put another lipstick or something small like that in there. But so we had my sunglasses in here. We had my thin card case from Chanel. We have my round zippy coin purse. We have my Louis Vuitton key clay. We have my iPhone. 
and we have a lipstick. So all that fit in perfectly. It zipped up fine. It did not distort the bag. So I do think that you can get all of your essentials in here, but if you carry more items than that and you want to carry maybe a full size wallet or a cosmetic pouch or something like that, you probably want to go with a larger bag. So maybe you'd want to go with the Gucci Soho Disco, but this bag does fit all the essentials. I haven't had a problem with it. I don't carry that many items with me. So this has been perfect for me on a daily basis. Okay guys, so which one do I recommend? So I have loved both bags and I have used both bags a lot. I really have enjoyed them both for a lot of the same purposes, like a day bag and for travel, but I have worn this bag at night a little bit more. Um, I just think it's a little bit dressier than the Gucci Soho Disco, but they are great bags and I really don't think you can go wrong with either. I will say that I think that this bag will wear a little bit better in the long run. I think they're both very classic because they're both classic style camera bags because I really do think that a camera bag is a style that is basically always gonna be around. But if I had to pick just one, I think it would be the Saint Laurent or YSL Mini Lou bag. And that's for a few reasons. I do think that this will hold its structure um, in the long run a little bit better than the Gucci Soho. I love the leather on this guys, and that's probably the big selling point for me. The leather on this bag just feels so much more luxurious than the Gucci Soho. I'm not saying that the leather on the Gucci Soho isn't beautiful, because it, it really is. It's good quality, but there's just something about this leather. This is the leather that I feel like competes with Chanel's caviar. And to be honest, I kind of like this leather better than Chanel caviar. But, um, I, what I will say about it is I have had this bag for less time than the Gucci Soho, so only time will tell. But so far, this has been an amazing buy. I do think if you carry a little bit less, I think this bag will be perfect for you. I think the quality on it is just great. I think it's a little bit more versatile than the Gucci Soho Disco, and I have just been loving this so far. Okay guys, that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have either of these bags on your radar or if you own one already or which one you prefer. Very interested to know and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.